So first, let me tell you who this video is for. If you have a device that you fully own on Sprint that you've paid off, there's no contract here in the middle of, it's not stolen, anything like that, and you've already contacted customer service, and they've told you what's unlocked on their end, and you're still having trouble putting a new SIM card into your phone or something like that, this is the video for you. Hopefully this will give you the answers that you need. I got a couple comments on my other video showing how to switch to Google Fi on my iPhone. I said I was gonna make this video, so here it is. Hopefully this helps you out. So just a little bit about my background and what happened to me. I had wanted to switch to Google Fi. I ordered the package, which included the new SIM card. I put it in and I got a message saying that it was still tied to a carrier that wasn't eligible for a Google Fi. I kept contacting Sprint and they would always tell me, that, uh, you know, in our system, it's verified as unlocked. We put in the request to unlock it. It should be unlocked in 24 hours. But every time I put in a new SIM card, it gave me the same message saying that it wasn't eligible. I forget what the exact message was, but basically it's not gonna work with this SIM card. So I don't remember exactly where I found this technique, but this is the one thing that allowed me to get my phone unlocked. I had to contact the international customer service line for Sprint, and I'll put the link in the description, but by going to that link and telling them that I was going out of the country, which is true, and I needed to have the phone unlocked for that reason, I was able to get, the, get my phone unlocked properly. Go to that link and then click on the chat tab. And I selected active SIM unlock and I had to just say I was going out of the country. It shouldn't even matter. You should legally have the right to unlock your phone even if you're not traveling out of the country, if your phone is paid off. But I just put in a few dates of when I was gonna travel and then I got connected with a customer service. I think it just took a few minutes in the chat and it was basically the same process I had gone through before with Sprint customer service in the US. For some reason this did the trick and I checked maybe 24 hours later, I put in the SIM card for Google Fi and was able to get the process going. If you're on Sprint and are considering moving off to a different carrier and are curious about Google Fi, I'll put a link below I've had a great experience, especially with traveling internationally. It's been really useful because you can just land in a new country and turn on your phone and you'll get connected with one of the local carriers. Um, you don't have to wait till you get off the plane and exchange money and buy a SIM card. It's just super easy to uh, just turn on your phone and be ready to go as soon as you land. And the rates are pretty good too. I think they just announced an unlimited plan. Highly recommend it if you wanna check it out. Even if you're just staying uh, stateside and you don't use too much data, um, it's, it's a good uh, plan overall. Especially if you're already using a service like Sprint or T-Mobile, they're basically working off of those networks, but you get a little bit more flexibility on the billing and uh, some other benefits too. So check it out if you're interested. Anyway, if this helped you, let me know in the comments below. It'd be great to hear that this worked for you. Thanks for watching.